This is the last of the four talks on the individual psychology clinical formulation for Adler Graduate School course number 511. It is on the goal and maintaining sections of the formulation report. By the end of this talk, you should feel ready to complete the special project for this course, which is to write an individual psychology clinical formulation on Conrad from the film Ordinary People. The fictional final goal is the organizing factor of a person's lifestyle. Adler said, quote, if we know the goal of a person, we can undertake to explain and to understand what the psychological phenomena want to tell us, why they were created, what a person has made of his innate material, why he has made it just so and no differently, how his character traits, his feelings and emotions, his logic, his morals, and his aesthetics must be considered in order that he may arrive at his goal. Close quote. Maintenance logic is a private logic that supports the persistence of the psychological movement, that is, those mistaken beliefs by which a neurotic movement is reinforced, maintained, and perpetuated. In the individual psychology, the style of life is organized around a goal, a personal definition of significance. The person's unique line of movement is toward this goal, also referred to as the fictional final goal. This goal unifies the personality, their feelings, their beliefs, and their behaviors. The four personal priorities are an aspect of the fictional final goal. I have found the phrase, quote, I am only significant when, end quote, to be especially useful in interpreting a lifestyle summary to a client. I emphasize how precarious it is to have just one source of significance and often include broadening the sources of significance in our treatment plan. Shifting the source of significance to actions that are a contribution to the community and that are based on cooperation and respect is an individual psychology strategy for increasing social interest. I also discuss the possibility of feeling innately and unconditionally significant. For example, the comfort priority would be stated as thus, I am only significant when I am comfortable. The personal priority is a good place to start in working on the person's goal and discussion with the client will often produce a more nuanced statement of the goal. The strategies you learn to identify the four goals of misbehavior from children the challenge can also be useful in formulating the goal component of the lifestyle summary. Inquiry into the client's feelings, speculations about how the people around the client feel, typical responses the client gets from other people, and the client's response to correction can all shed light on the fictional final goal in a manner that parallels the goal identification process in Children the Challenge. In individual psychology terms, a maintenance logic is one kind of a private logic, a fictional line of reasoning that proceeds from the person's private and unique valuation of self others and the world, and what life requires of him or her. A maintenance logic is a private logic that seems to be creating distress for the person and is self-reinforcing. For example, social isolation and withdrawal is a common line of movement for people in distress. And with decreased social contact, they have less opportunities to have their mistaken beliefs disputed and more opportunities for negative beliefs about self to be validated. Keeping secrets and feelings of shame are mutually reinforcing one of the other and prevent disconfirmation. Avoiding a situation, a behavior, or a feeling strengthens the belief that one is unable to handle it and increases the likelihood that it will be avoided in the future. Safety-seeking behaviors are self-reinforcing in a similar way and are associated with the belief of incompetence and inadequacy. Safety-seeking strategies are often 
often accompanied by a what-if reasoning, a hypersensitivity to the dangers and threats in the world. The belief that one will be okay or significant when one has enough is usually insatiable and the source of ongoing distress. This is often expressed with if-only reasoning, a conviction that the next thing or the next experience is what is needed to make things all right. The vicious flower is a visual representation of a maintenance model. Some therapists use this as an activity with the client. The first step in constructing a vicious flower is to identify a symptom or a problem and place it in the center. Each petal is a belief, a thought, an emotion, or a behavior that the person has that actually tends to perpetuate the problem or make it worse. It is a psychological truism that avoidance behaviors or safety-seeking behaviors tend to function as perpetuating factors. A problem is also perpetuated when experience fails to disconfirm the belief or decrease the behavior, even when it is faulty. Different theorists have emphasized different factors that can serve as maintaining factors or petals on a vicious flower. To some extent, this depends on the problem that is being analyzed. For example, physical sensations and the way they are interpreted by the person play a central role in most instances of panic attacks and somatic symptoms, but are likely to be less influential for the person with obsessive compulsive symptoms. Safety behaviors are behaviors that are chosen in order to prevent a feared catastrophe from occurring. They are logically and directly connected to the problem or symptom and serve to validate the threat or danger that is being perceived. Another key maintenance factor is a failure to attend to disconfirming evidence, even when it is very evident, while selectively attending to and believing the importance of confirming evidence, however indirect or unrelated to the topic. There is an outline and an example of the individual psychology case formulation available on the course page. Remember that for each complaint you need to include a timeline, an analysis of the exogenous situation, and a discussion of possible overwhelming life tasks at the time of onset of the complaint. Some record-keeping systems keep the problem list as a separate document from the intake report or case formulation. You also need to assess the client's current functioning using the life tasks as a framework. Finally, state your hypothesized basic convictions and maintenance logic.